pull the Jeep frame out this evening and I use a plasma cutter to kind of blow through the uh, the rotten areas in this frame. Um, I'm going to cut more out. I just don't know exactly how much <clears throat> or where I want to stop cutting. But I do have a piece of steel over here. I'll show you. This is what I'm going to use to patch the frame with. Um, this is five bucks now at the, at the scrap yard. I've taken a few days to kind of mill over in my head how I want to go about repairing this frame. And one of the biggest things, problems I was kind of facing was the rot doesn't stop here. It comes through into here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plasma cutter and I'm going to cut right along this line here and cut this whole body mount tab right off and I'll clean it up and I'll grind it the old metal off and then I'll well I'll take measurements you know from this point to this point and again from over there on the other side of the frame write that all down so I can um, put it back on the new piece of metal as, as close to where it needs to go as possible but on the other hand, I don't really have a whole heck of a lot to worry about because up here on the body where this mount is supposed to go, that stripped out. So I can't thread anything back up into here. So this is going to have to be cut out and repaired anyway. So if it's off a slight bit, you know, all I got to do is just make sure they're the same. I took some measurements and from from the outside here to the outside here it's 14 and 3 quarters and the distance from the top of the frame to the top of the mount is exactly the same between these two mounts and from frame to the outside here is 4 inches if we do it this way it is Six and a half. Six and a half. Uh, from that, I'll be able to put it back close enough. I used the hammer to to bop this old body mount out from the, uh, from the bracket here and I just flipped it up and cut it the rest of the way you can see how much crap is in there in the frame even though I've, I tried to clean it out as best as I could um, from this little tiny hole here and here and I kept running some water through it and using a screwdriver to knock it loose but uh, there's a lot in there So I determined how much of this frame I want to cut out to replace. You can see I've got it marked off with a piece of soapstone. And I did that by cutting this, putting it up here with some clamps and just tracing around it. What I'm going to do, as you can see here, I put some marks on here. I'm going to notch out for this bracket. Uh, I'm not going to cut this bracket out. And I'm just going to you know, weld it right here. I gotta clean that all up. I've got the uh, the patch piece all cut out and kind of rough to the shape of the frame. Now I guess the next step is to cut out the rest of the rusty parts in the frame and I'll probably sandblast what I can inside the frame before I tack this in. 
got this all cut out now and now I'm kind of ready to blast everything up so I can probably, I'll probably put some miracle paint on the inside of the frame and weld the, uh, the other piece back on but I also got to clean this out on the inside here so I didn't get an idea of how much crap is still in this frame all just mud it's all caked in the bottom of it on the rail and I'm thinking what I'm going to do like I said before I gotta drill some holes every so often underneath the frame here to kind of let all that drain out because they get into these holes here you know the dirt and stuff and there's just there's no way for it to get out it just collects in there so I'm gonna put some drain holes in there I cleaned this up a little bit with the sandblaster I didn't get you know too aggressive with it because uh, the miracle paint you can paint over some rust I just want you to get the scale off and when I was blasting in here in the frame I noticed a lot of places where I could see some some light you know, pinholes so I punched a screwdriver through. I cut out a little bit on the bottom here because it was real bad I tried welding it up but it just it was just a mess so I'm gonna take this weld this up in there and then I'm gonna take another piece brace it across the top and weld it and then I'll put the side piece on next step is to weld in a uh, piece of strapping on the top of where this frame is pretty bad. Now this isn't like the best because there's just going to be rust growing in between these two pieces but this bottom piece of the frame is just so so thin that it'll rust out pretty soon so put this backing behind it and I'll give it a little more strength. I've got this uh, brace tacked into the bottom of the frame rail. Um, I'm going to weld it up better um, when I get to the other side of the frame, but I just tacked it up for now. And this piece for the outside panel here has been fitted. It fits right in there real good now. I'm about to weld that in there. But I also want to show you I cut the upper control arm bracket off. Um, this side of the frame is really bad as well. And what I'm going to do to align this is I'm going to bolt this back up and I'm going to bring it back up so it's flush right here and that will keep it where it needs to be and I'll be able to pack it back on. Plus I'm getting uh, new control arms and the top ones will be adjustable so any error I'll have it fixed that way. Just sandblasted the frame where I welded in this patch looks pretty good there are a couple of pinholes that I want to get back to I got guy right there and this is not looking so hot right there in here but I'll get to that and I got the back side cut open a little bit more with the plasma you can see the I'm gonna weld from the back side here I don't think I really got very good penetration so I'm going to weld it up from the back side here, and I'm going to put in a, a new patch here. Right on. The brackets have to cut off, and we'll be done on this side. I got the patch for this side all cut out and ready to go. All fitted in place. I'll go over there and show you. This side's all welded up. Brace welded in the middle. This fits right in here, like so. Now I get that welded in tomorrow. It's like almost five o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna go to bed. Just got the body mount bracket welded on. Fourteen three quarters here and here. I used this tool, I don't know what I did with it, to make sure these are down the same depth. <coughs> Everything's lined up where it should be. And the back side bracket is welded back on right where it needs to be. And I'm ready to start tackling this side now. I'm not excited to do it all over again. 
I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier or not in this video, but I got this cut out in the frame a little bit, and you can see how much just crap is in here. And from where this hole is right here, and these holes, here, and then gets in here, there's, n there's no place for any of this stuff to get, you know, out of here. So it just, it collects, and it's just like a cake. Like a good half inch thick of just mud and nastiness. That's just why these frames all rot out. Dumb.